Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Today I am kicking off another vlog here at home. I just wrapped up two weeks on the West Coast. I did San Diego, Marina Del Rey, Hermosa Beach, San Luis Obispo, and Vegas. I had a couple of different work trips. I was hanging out with Sam and Jules and shipping my car back to the East Coast. So it should be arriving later tonight. I'm really excited to have it back here. So I'm actually home right now and this will be the longest stint since I've graduated. I'll be home for about three weeks, so I'm excited to kind of get back into a routine, catch up on some blog posts and YouTube videos, and get back to my usual uploading schedule for you guys. So expect Sunday vlogs to be back in action. But yeah, we're getting ready to head out of here and go see the Mannions. We are celebrating my mom's birthday, Mrs. Mannion's birthday, and Connor's birthday kind of all together. We usually do something every year, so we're celebrating today. Yesterday was her actual birthday, but I got back from Vegas yesterday so that's why we're doing a little delayed celebration I do need to get dressed really quick and I'm going to hopefully come up with an outfit with some of the new express pieces that I just got I have so much mail I'm gonna do a proper unboxing in the meantime I do want to show you guys the stuff that came from express while I pick out an outfit because they got a lot of new spring goodies I will leave everything linked down below this is gonna be a really chatty long rambly vlog so hope you guys are excited okay I'm still in my pajamas right now but this is the only package that I've unboxed so far and it's mostly because there were a pair of jeans in here that I want to wear to the brewery today but I'm just going to show you guys all the new spring arrivals while I'm at it. I absolutely love Express. You guys know it's one of my favorite stores to shop at. It's where I get all of my jeans and all of my like double lined body contour basics. So here's what I got. First things first I got a pair of black low rise cargo pants. I really like these. I'm trying to get on the low rise kick. Express has a lot of low rise styles right now. So I'm testing them out. These have a straight leg fit and they are a zero. They actually fit me pretty well. Next pair of pants that I got are the relaxed straight low rise. These are a zero regular and this is the smallest size available in this specific style. They gap quite a bit in the back. I'm debating if I'm going to return these or not. I absolutely love the fit of them. I think the style is super cute. I actually like the low rise and the distressing is really good on these. But like I said, they are a little bit big in the tush. I would say all of the low rise styles run a little bit large. So if you're in between sizes, definitely go down. Um, and then I also got a pair of their mom jeans. I'm usually a straight leg jean girl, but I decided that I wanted to try out the mom style mostly because these ones have like a cropped ankle fit to them and a raw hem I really like this specific style when it is the springtime just because I think it's really cute with a pair of sandals these are a double zero and then I got my favorite leather pants in another color um, I've tried every pair of leather pants on the market literally all of the cheap pairs suck you have to invest in your leather pants um, I get these in a size zero regular I do go up a size in these just because I find that fake leather does run a little bit small I have these in four colors now and they are literally amazing I've got my sister hooked and so many other people they have like a lighter fleece lining so when I go to colder climates I typically will wear these as well and they're just like my go-to going out pan I got them in like one of the darker taupey colors just because they were literally on sale for like $36 the other day and I was like what a steal and then I also got a pair of denim shorts I'm iffy about denim shorts from Express usually because they kind of have like more of a mom fit to them I feel like they're a little bit longer than I would prefer so I was nervous about these but I got the mom shorts super high rise in a double zero they have a button fly and these are like the perfect shortness for me like they're not short to the point that your butt cheeks are hanging out but you still look 21 in these I guess and then I picked up a few more body contour pieces I got this green bodysuit which I've actually already worn super cute this scoop neck style is my favorite I have this bodysuit in like six colors and I wear it out all the time one of the best going out pieces but also like just a good staple you can transition this from dinner to drinks to the office to date night like super easy and then I got this new style from them that's like a high neck tank top I got it in like a beige they, I love these bodysuits because they're double lined and they're not see-through so you don't have to wear a bra with these I don't even wear a sticky bra with them. I just I just you know I go for it and they have thong style bottoms that snap along the crotch So the easiest bodysuit to get in and out of when you are going to the bathroom big fan of this guy And then I also got it in a hot pink This is like one of their new spring colors and I just thought this would be kind of fun I've been getting more into pink right now 
And then the last top that I got is also a new style bodysuit from them. Has these like padded cups. I thought that this would be a really cute going out piece. I've been trying to pick up some more like going out dinner and drinks kind of tops for when I go to Florida. Just because I'm going to be in more of a 20 something setting like actually going out. I feel like when I'm at home I'm just constantly like in loungewear but... Um, I'm excited to be a little more social. So this came in a few different colors. It's got adjustable straps, very cute. And then I also got this peplum top. I thought that this would be kind of a good like business casually office kind of top for some of you guys. It's really cute. It does run a little bit large, so I would suggest going down. Comes in a few different colors. I got it in the black, love the little square neckline. I actually had these two long sleeves with me when I was in California, and I was so glad. I love the body contour line, but it is a blend of polyester and spandex, so it really suctions to you, whereas these two tops are just like caught in super soft, easy layering pieces. They're double lined throughout the middle, and then the sleeves are single lined, and I got them in an extra small I just got a black and then I got the light purple I thought that this would be perfect for spring and it's one of their like seasonal colors right now so very cute I know a lot of you guys love express stuff too I'm a big fan so I will leave everything linked down below a big thank you to them for sending this stuff over I'm excited to style for the springtime but yeah let's put on it out okay, this is what I've settled on I've got that white tank bodysuit on with the black cargo jeans super cute I really like the low rise with this because it actually elongates my torso I have a shorter torso and longer legs so I feel like this is like a different play on my shape and I really like the pockets along the sides of these all right let's go let's have a day we've talked about this place once before but it, I know but it was a brief vlog so tell them where we are and why you like it here well, I like it because it's close to home. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like venture. It's uh, Liquidity Ale House in Mount Airy, Maryland, right down the road. And they converted a like, bank that's been vacant for years into a brewery. And they have a, you know, a go-to truck outside. You can bring snacks. I look horrible. What's a plant for? Stand there. I knew what I was going to do until so you did that. Okay, so at this brewery they don't serve food. So Chase got a pizza delivered and they have a food truck here every day. So we got, it's like, what's it called? It's a different one. It's not always. It's called Blowfish Pokey and he's from, I heard him say, they are mainly based out of Baltimore but he lives in Westminster but they're here today. Hey, and it's shrimp and... It's shrimp and chicken and pineapple and corn and avocado. I'll let you know how it is. It's tempura and mom and dad got bang bang. Ma or bang bang shrimp Dad pie. and Mrs. Mannion are sharing. The pork sliders. Okay, we're headed home for birthday cake. Because he was a loser and I lost at four. least 10 games of Connect Four. <laughs> All right, I thought that everyone, my, mom and dad's food, the pork sliders and the bang shrimp bang. platter, the bang bang shrimp platter were both very good. My bowl was bad, I thought. Bad? I, 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 it wasn't even, it wasn't average. It's something, at first it was average. And oh then- God, Wasn't it make your own? It was make your own, so okay, it was my so fault. I find at almost every place that's make your own, they suck, okay? Because you like don't, make the right mix of well this i got the mix i got right. the mix of stuff that like i would usually get out like at one of those typical like hawaiian spots but because this chicken was like not the seasoning it of it was so completely all, different like, right yeah but i thought that their food was really good so um it was real i'm not giving it a rating because i don't have an accurate representation but My dad best thought best. the pork connor said it was the best pork he's ever I had so clearly he hasn't eaten that much pork. It but was pretty, it was <laughs> we love you, Colin. It was, pretty it was really it's good. Obviously not. It's not pulled pork. It's, yeah. it's not smoked pork. It's, it's just pork. Hawaiian pork. It's Hawaiian. And, and, and it, was, it was very tasty. It was really 
really salty. All right, now we're going to eat cake. Dollars. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> we Happy birthday, dear Mama Morgan, Jen Connor. Happy birthday to you. Madison bought mom flowers yesterday. Abby's not doing that well right now. She has an ulcer in her eye and she had an infected tooth that fell out. She's 15 years old. She's getting old, so she's going to the surgeon tomorrow. And she's been wearing a cone. Abby girl looks so sad with this cone on. But I just took it off so that she could breathe for a little bit. All right, shower time. It's like 7.30 now. Just been hanging out at the Mannions all day. Um, we had a cake and just kind of hung out for a couple of hours here. And they just left, so I took a shower, washed all the plain dirt off of me. Now I'm putting on a little bit of the Tula 24-7 moisturizer. And yeah, just put on sweats. Gonna keep it really casual tonight. And just hang out. Um, I'm still waiting for them to call me about my car. Basically, I just put it on a truck in California um, about, let's see, what's today? Sunday. I put it on the truck on Wednesday. So, super quick turnaround time. The last time that I shipped it, it took like 10 days. I shipped it through the exact same um, people. It just happened to be a lot quicker this time because they had more cars coming to the East Coast and enough drivers to make it happen faster so really quick turnaround time i've got like all of my pots and pans and pillows and pretty much everything that was in my california apartment is in the back of my car i ended up um donating and giving away a lot of stuff while i was there but i've still got some clothes some swimsuits things like that in the back of it as well so it'll be good we are taking it in to get a little bit of work done this week um i need a new timing belt and an oil change and a couple of other things um just to get the car ready to go for the drive to florida if you guys missed my last vlog i am going to st petersburg i absolutely loved my few days that i had there i was craving a little bit of stability um i want to sit put for a little bit but i don't want to sit put permanently and I wasn't ready to like fully commit to California yet. So I signed about six weeks Airbnb in St. Petersburg. Jules is coming with the entire time and then Sam is joining us the second half. She has a couple of trips that were already on the calendar so she can't come the full time, but it'll be Jules and I for quite a bit of time and I'm really looking forward to it. So um, we are set to leave the first week of April and we're gonna drive down there. It's about like 16 and a half hours from here. So it's doable and we're gonna see how it goes. I mean, as of right now, I'm only planning on being there temporarily and um, then going back to California towards the end of the year, um, just because I do want to live in California again at some point. Um, but never say never, who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love, maybe I'll love Florida. You never know what could happen so keeping my options open and i'm hoping to really like it we are like right on the beach we're actually only like a mile and a half from the postcard inn which is where we stayed when we visited and we're near the don cesar hotel and we're about like 25 minutes from tampa so i'm excited it should be fun and i really appreciate all your guys kind messages about it on the youtube video that i posted today so anyways that's what's up uh, nothing super crazy you're just gonna hang out for the night just like whew, taking it easy all right guys i'm getting in bed and i'm gonna do a little bit of reading tonight um i started emily henry when i was in miami and i literally just got like four or five chapters in and then i brought it to california and didn't read it all so i'm gonna try to get back into it so. i've been reading for a little bit i've been scrolling through tiktok it's like 10 o'clock right now and i'm gonna hit the hay gonna have a productive week and i'm actually gonna end this vlog off here today's 
portion was a little bit longer uh, and <laughs> I don't want this week in my life to be like an hour and a half long so I'm gonna end this off and start a full week in my life tomorrow so stay tuned I know you guys love seeing the long vlogs so getting back into it happy to be home love you guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow